Hey there, this is Beamer Merchants. Today I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, share with you my new findings. As you can see, I'm actually tearing a 98 M3 engine apart. Um, and I'm just taking all the emissions components off on this area here. I haven't started to do any of the uh, heads or of the block. So I just want to go ahead and share with you what I found, what I found interesting. And just to point out right off the bat, I am not a BMW technician. I don't claim to know it all. So if we have any viewers who uh, can educate us more in terms of what we're looking at and what the purpose is, that would be great. Okay, I'm just pointing things out here, uh, mostly for my benefit. So in the future, when I start tearing uh, another a part out, I'll have a better idea as to where it is and how to remove it. So pretty much what I did here, I went ahead and removed, you know, the, as you can see right there, the alternator, the power steering pump, pulleys, and so forth. And then I got into the actual heart of the emissions for this engine here. I was surprised to find out that this hose here, actually a coolant hose. Okay, so if you guys ever have a coolant leak somewhere here, this could be the reason why. Went ahead and took out the, see there it is. Of course this coolant hose connects here, okay, and it goes down to the throttle right there. We have a second coolant hose, goes down here, goes all the way. You can see it comes out and it comes out right there. Okay, so again, I can imagine that if you're having a coolant leak, and uh, can pinpoint where it's coming from check those um, hoses they could be it and of course up here we have if somebody can tell me what this is that would be great okay we have a hose coming out here from my experience too from what i heard these hoses are very fragile they tend to um to crack and they will definitely throw a check engine light okay so that's where that one is here i had a tube here that one goes out here and it connects to the oil separator okay oil separator is connected to the intake manifold via as I can see that torques and that torques right there I see two so far and that's what it is I believe so if, to remove that you gotta take that off and of course these are tents to remove the uh, and I'll go ahead and take it but I'm just showing you where it is and then of course you got the idle control valve most neglected part obviously fuel lines here idle control valve right here okay and this control valve is again connected to the throttle body right I'm sorry not throttle body the intake manifold right there it's held by two 10 millimeters and pretty much all you have to do is once they come off it comes out see be a nice it would be good if uh let's see doesn't be idle stuck in there so anyhow that's where that one is right there let me go ahead and remove the uh this here oil separator okay I went ahead and took the uh, three 10 bolts oil separator here dumps the oil back onto the oil pan so right here basically once you get this off you have to connect it right there and there you go it comes out okay this is how the oil separator looks I believe if this uh, becomes faulty you're gonna get uh, smoke early in the mornings because it's basically um, not collecting all the oil and it's dropping all the oil in the uh, right here intake manifold and you basically just go ahead and pull it off here to disconnect it to the hose that goes into the oil pan right there. Then we have this top piece here being held by two 10 millimeters on each side. I went ahead and took that off. Again, I'm pretty sure this is the um, cruise control. Could be wrong. Correct me if I am. Remove that. Okay. And then it's always a good idea if you're here, just go ahead and clean, you know, your... Your throttle 
all the uh, deposits, carbon buildup right there. Clean that up. Here's the other coolant hose that goes through the throttle body up here. And again, you get a better view as to where it goes and connects right there. If you need to replace that hose, good luck to you, man. Getting in there, it's not fun. Okay, and this is emissions. You got this um, metal tube right here that connects to the uh, smog pump. Brings it out here. And it connects to that blue hose, which connects right here to the top. I want to say this is the EGR valve. Okay, again, see how fragile these um, hoses become? And if one of them is uh, cracked, it's definitely going to go ahead and throw a check engine light on. So if you do have one, check these hoses. Another one here. This one comes down here, connects to this here, and then it goes up right there. Okay, so that's where it connects. And then you have another hose right here that comes down. And again, you got another sensor here. Someone can point out what it is at six minutes. That would be great. Okay, I went ahead and removed the throttle body held by four 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, and uh, this it's a good idea to replace this gasket now because if it doesn't, if, if it's if it's cracked, it's definitely gonna go ahead and um, not give you the performance that you need on the engine. And again, throw a check engine light on. Okay, remove the bracket, and you can actually see a better view as to what um, hooks up to the intake manifolds. Here we have the oil separator. This sensor got no idea what it is here. And again, this one here, as you can see, it's a tube that connects. It goes here and it connects to the EGR valve right there. And then again, you got another one here. I gotta find out what this is called right there. That's what it connects to. Okay, so again, if you're working in your car, um, this will give you a better idea as to where things are. Okay, let's not forget about this tube here. Very fragile as well. And I believe this one goes down to the um, uh, fuel filter. But that's, that's where it is. Second one here. There's a coolant hose right here. It goes right here. Connects right there. And it goes back here again. It connects to the water pump right there. And then of course you got another one comes out here. This one here is a long hose, basically goes around here. And I believe that one goes to your um, reservoir tank. So anyhow, this is how the engine looks without most of its components. Okay, um, hopefully this video is useful to some people. Uh, if you don't find it useful, it's okay. Just go ahead and thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, let us know. And there you go. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.